On June 18, 2023, what started as a thrilling expedition to explore the Titanic's legendary wreck turned in a tragedy no one could have imagined. Ocean Gate's Titan submersible, carrying five passengers, suddenly vanished 3,346 meters below the ocean surface. And within hours, the world held its breath. Just four days later, the shocking truth was revealed. The sub had imploded, leaving debris scattered on the ocean floor. But how could something like this happen? What went wrong beneath the sea that caused such a catastrophic failure? Today, we're diving deep to uncover the untold story behind the Titan's tragic end. OceanGate, a private company founded in 2009 by aerospace engineer Stockton Rush, had a bold mission to make the deep ocean accessible to everyone, based in Everett, Washington. OceanGate set out to revolutionize underwater exploration by offering commercial expeditions for research, tourism, and adventure. Their goal? To open up the mysterious world beneath the waves, giving people the opportunity to explore the ocean's depths like never before. In its early days, OceanGate didn't have a fleet of submersibles of its own. Instead, the company partnered with organizations that already had the necessary technology, using leased commercial submersibles to take paying customers on underwater expeditions. While the exact number of these early trips remains unclear, OceanGate's mission was clear, to bridge the gap between scientists, explorers, and deep-sea technology. To truly achieve this, they realized they needed their own submersible to conduct independent missions. And that's where the journey to build their own deep sea vessel began. In 2015, OceanGate took a major leap forward with the launch of Cyclops-1, their first submersible. Although its maiden dive wasn't widely publicized, Cyclops-1 was a significant step. It could reach depths of 500 meters, about 1,640 feet, and introduced a groundbreaking design. Unlike traditional submersibles with spherical hulls, Cyclops-1 featured a cylindrical shape and large acrylic viewing windows, offering passengers an incredible view of the underwater world. But Stockton Rush wasn't satisfied. He wanted more than a technical achievement. He wanted the world's attention. That's when it hit him. What better way to capture global fascination than by visiting one of the most famous wrecks in history, the Titanic? This would be the key to grabbing headlines and capturing the imagination of people everywhere. In 2019, Rush told Smithsonian Magazine, there's only one wreck that everyone knows. If you ask people to name something underwater, it's going to be sharks, whales, Titanic. Stockton Rush had a crystal clear vision, so he took the next step. Moving beyond Cyclops 1, OceanGate began working on a second, far more advanced submersible. It was originally called Cyclops 2, but during development, it earned a new name, Titan. Titan was bigger, stronger, and capable of reaching the extreme depths of the ocean. Specifically designed for tourists and researchers, it wasn't just an engineering feat. It was Rush's ticket to making deep-sea exploration accessible to the world. Let's take a closer look at Titan's cutting-edge design, a true feat of engineering built to withstand the intense pressures of the deep sea. First, Titan was 6.7 meters long, standing 2.8 meters high, and weighing a massive 10,432 kilograms. It was constructed using a 12.7 centimeter carbon fiber hull, reinforced with titanium caps at both the front and back, all held together by titanium junction rings. This combination of materials was key. It provided strength to survive the extreme pressures at depths of over 3,000 meters, while remaining lightweight. At the front, Titan featured a 380 millimeter hemispherical acrylic dome, offering passengers a breathtaking view of the deep ocean. This was paired with high definition 4K cameras mounted near the viewport to capture every moment of the journey. Titan was powered by four electric propulsion units, two vertical thrusters for moving up and down, and two horizontal thrusters for forward and backward movement. It was equipped with skids on the underside, allowing it to land safely on the ocean floor without damaging its hull. The ballast system controlled buoyancy, letting Titan descend, hover, or ascend as needed. And to light up the darkness of the deep sea, high-intensity LED lights were mounted around the exterior, illuminating the way and ensuring high-quality video footage. Inside, Titan was designed for five people, 
four passengers and one pilot. The sub's systems were controlled by a remote controller and monitored through two computer screens displaying navigation and life support data. Titan could sustain life for up to 96 hours with essential systems like oxygen supply, CO2 scrubbers, and temperature control keeping the crew safe at extreme depths. On June 18, 2023, Titan began its fateful mission to the Titanic wreck. On board were five individuals, Stockton Rush, the founder of OceanGate, French Titanic expert Paul-Henri Narjolet, British businessman Hamish Harding, and Shazada DeWood, along with his 19-year-old son, Suleiman. About an hour and 45 minutes into the dive, something went terribly wrong. Communication was lost with Titan, and the submersible vanished into the deep ocean. For four agonizing days, rescue teams from around the world searched for any sign of the Titan or its passengers. But on June 22nd, the U.S. Coast Guard made a shocking discovery. Titan had imploded at a depth of 3,346 meters, leaving debris scattered across the seabed. So, what caused this catastrophic failure? Experts have proposed several theories. First, there's the issue of Titan's carbon fiber hull. While strong, carbon fiber reacts differently to the intense pressures found at extreme depths. Unlike titanium or steel, which have been thoroughly tested, carbon fiber can suffer from microfractures that may grow over time. Could a structural weakness have caused the hull to collapse under pressure? Another factor could be the rapid development timeline. Some have questioned whether OceanGate cut corners in its rush to make deep-sea exploration available to paying tourists. Did they sacrifice safety in the name of innovation? There were also warning signs leading up to the disaster. Former OceanGate employees had reportedly raised concerns about the safety of the submersible. According to reports, some worried that Titan had not been tested rigorously enough before it began taking passengers to extreme depths. Rush himself was known for taking risks. In interviews, he described deep-sea exploration as inherently dangerous, but believed that pushing the boundaries of technology was worth the risk. But in hindsight, was this too much of a gamble? In the wake of Titan's implosion, the world was left grappling with tough questions about the future of deep-sea exploration and tourism. Ocean Gate's mission was ambitious, but it has also become a cautionary tale about the dangers of rushing innovation. Since the tragedy, investigations have been launched to determine exactly what went wrong and how similar missions can be made safer in the future. But the legacy of the Titan is already clear. This disaster reminds us that the ocean's depths remain one of the most unforgiving environments on Earth. So what does this mean for the future of deep sea exploration? Will companies like OceanGate continue to push the boundaries? Or will the Titan disaster make us rethink how we approach underwater tourism? Some experts believe this is a turning point. Stricter safety standards will likely be put in place and submersibles will undergo more rigorous testing. But one thing is for certain, the fascination with the Titanic and the deep ocean will continue to captivate explorers, adventurers, and scientists alike. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think missions like Titans should continue despite the risks? Or is it time to slow down and prioritize safety above all else? Drop your opinions in the comments below. I'm really curious to know what you think. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the untold story of Titan, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.